Hi, so my name is Brian Singer, and this is my one to two minute audio sample and video introduction. I've been in the industrial cybersecurity space for just over 20 years. I was the original and founding chairman of the ISA 62443, or otherwise known as the ISA 99 standard. We started back in the 2001-2002 timeframe. So how did this come into being? Um, I started out my career in the U.S. military. I uh, worked in intelligence, which is where I got some of my initial cybersecurity experience. My first professional jobs out of the military, I focused primarily on um, on software development and building systems. That got me into working with industrial automation systems heavily uh, in the Y2K projects with a food and beverage manufacturing company. I went on from there. I was asked after 9-11, which changed many of our lives. Um, I was asked to uh, consider creating a standard that would focus heavily on the needs of industrial cybersecurity. So started that in 2002, ran that for about 12 years. Uh, since that time, I've really focused heavily on being an industry catalyst, uh, somebody to bring change, to innovate, and to drive what we need to protect our critical infrastructure and critical manufacturing. I ran Rockwell Automation's network and security services business for several years. That was where I put some of the first security assessment services and design services for, uh, for industrial cybersecurity. I went on from there to run a company for about 12 years focused on the intersection between safety and cybersecurity. And I've always followed that passion of what is the next thing that needs to be done? What are the next things we need to work on? So for about the past six years now, I've focused very heavily on the adversarial services, six to eight years uh, on adversarial services focused in uh, what do we do? How do we actually pen test these environments? How do we do it safely? How do we prove that threat vectors and threat approaches attack? Um, focus on you know, any other issue, again, really that's moved on recently to focus a lot more heavily on uh, adversary simulation and APT attack modeling. Uh, but I'd say the last, actually, I guess, really refining that point. So adversarial services focus on what the attackers can do. Um, but when you understand that, you also need to look at what, are, what can you do from an incident response perspective when people have been compromised. So that's been really the last three, four, five years of my life has been focused very heavily upon how do we prepare for people to have their worst day. Um, how they were going to actually maintain safe and efficient operations while under a cyber attack, and how are we going to recover our operations quickly, efficiently, and safely. So thank you very much. It's good to meet you all.